it's Pride Month. Last year for Pride Month, we handed over ration kits and healthcare kits to over thousand trans people in Bangalore. And this year, we're trying to do something even bigger. And I've created this giant Rubik's cube that just through these doors, and here's why. This is a Rubik's cube, and if you change the white tiles to purple, you end up with all the colors that are on the Pride rainbow flag. We're installing a huge Rubik's cube art installation to promote LGBT awareness and raise funds for transgender healthcare. So now, just a task of finding a fabricator sourcing the materials, asking the fabricator to use these materials that we have bought to create a frame and covering the frame with the colours that we want. Is there anything else that I'm missing out? There are many different materials that we could use to make the cube but we have decided to go with steel because it's infinitely recyclable and long-lasting for us. Someone recommended this place. It's very small but I heard that he does a really good job. We're trying to figure out the best way to balance the cube. There are so many people working on this project. Everyone's trying to test their knowledge of physics to make this happen. They can finish it off in two days but now we have to figure out where to keep it. We want to put this up in a prominent location in Bangalore and I think it should be a mall. I'm headed to my favourite mall. And we reached Phoenix. The team at Phoenix loved the idea and they've actually given us a very good location for free. So this is the food court and that is our location. We'll be allowed to place our cube under this light. We have decided to make this into a contest and we have got some really generous people to donate all kinds of stuff for this contest. All the details are given in the website, the link's in the description. So we created this cube with the junk acrylic sheets but I'm not very happy with it because it's, it has the bubble so we are looking at alternative options as to how we can make it even more better. We finally decided to remove this junk sheet and use a more professional looking sheet. It's almost 10 o'clock now and it's raining pretty heavily but I've gotten out on the road again because I just got a call that they have gotten rid of the junk uh, acrylic and they have installed the ACP sheets. I know this would have been perfect for some good ASMR but it's very hard to feel, it's taken so long. Literally everything has changed between last time and now. The stand also has become so steady. They've tried to repurpose some steel to minimize waste. So this and that is the same. It's 11 p.m. and we've just finished applying all the colored tiles. I finally set this up and I'm calling this the LGBT cube. So the final rundown of the cube, we have changed the white square with purple. We have tried to make it as sustainable as possible so the entire thing is made of steel and aluminium. And finally we have placed it on a stand and it has a rudimentary rotation system. In a couple of days, we're installing this in Phoenix Market City. And in the meantime, in another mall, we have a surprise for 50 people. It's early in the morning, we're back on the road. We've just gotten so lucky. And this came out of the blue, by the way. So we've been reaching out to various companies about the cause. And Book My Show was like, yeah, we'd like to help you with it. And they've offered to host a private screening for 50 uh, members of the LGBTQ community including a lot of trans persons as well and they are so excited because many of them have never been able to enter a mall before and have never been to a multiplex before. But as excited as everyone was, there were a few issues before we could get started. So it's 8.50 and the movie is about to start but there is a lot of difficulty because the mall security is not uh, allowing these trans people to enter the mall and they are kind of shouting at them. So we're trying to uh, mobilize our volunteers to go down and help them out there. But finally they were able to get through and the plan was back on. This is Nakshatra. She's the trans woman who founded the first uh, trans run orphanage in India known as Nammane Sumane, correct? Yes. This place is in Gangodra Hali. I'm heading there right now. We have come so far but we finally reached and this is the place. Nammane Sumane is an orphanage that's been run by Nakshatra in the outskirts of Bangalore. Nakshatra, by the way, is very inspirational. She was asked to leave the house when she transitioned and ever since she's been on her own and whatever she is today is purely out of her own hard work and perseverance. 
I'm very happy today. Uh, rich lives uh, have supporting India's first orphanage, uh, which which is running by a transgender. I'm very very happy to collaborate with Rich Lives. Let they will take the picture. Introducing V Cafe meals by. The movie we went to see was called Charlie. It was mostly funny, but got really poignant at the end. I love you. I don't have any words to say. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. So today is the first time that Nakshatra has cried. Apparently, tell about that. When I left my family, I ever cried. But after eight years, I cried only one day seeing the Charlie. The movie was great, but now it's Saturday. The artwork is placed, and I'm now ready to reveal the artwork. Here it is. We have finally placed the queue. It's right opposite the food court, and we have a lot of people passing through this area. Many people are clicking photos with the queue when participating in the contest, so it was really exciting. We have a bunch of nice gifts to be won, and we are engaging a lot of people in talking about LGBTQ plus needs, and especially the needs of India's trans community. I'll be sharing the impact we've had to this project on actual trans people on our website. So check it out and see you soon.